Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone, welcome back. It's day 53 here on our third season. We are certainly getting towards the end of things here as we progress. Let's just draw some money out of the GE up to 9 mil. Very nice indeed. And we will go to do our birdhouse run as per usual. Haven't quite woken up yet today, but I've got plans in a couple of hours. So I thought I best just get my recording done. I don't know if I'm going to get to edit it before my plans commence. But it'll come out when it comes out, and at least I've got it recorded then. We are going to be back at the Zombos today. It is probably going to be our penultimate day there. However, it could be our last day there. I kind of haven't figured it out yet, because I don't know where exactly we're going to be at the end of today. But at the end of today, I'm going to do the math and see if it's a reasonable amount of alks away to the final level. And if it is, we might be able to get them in while we're doing our quest and saves even more time from that grind. Fingers crossed. But yeah, we'll just have to see where we get to at the end of the day. If we do have to stay another day, it's not the worst thing in the world. More chance of a zombie axe, more defense levels, which we still need. And can't go wrong. We have no seeds other than toad flax. Is it worth going to the GE? Probably. Let's just go to Varrock first and do our staffs if we're already going to the GE. I think we got most of our shit in on the Grand Exchange yesterday, didn't we? We might have had some planks left. I <laughs> completely forgot about that champion scroll. Saw it then when I opened my bank. Okay, what do we want? I'll check the price of Renard, but it's probably not good. Yeah, that's not good. Have until it is. Uh, let's just get 24, and then I'd have to come back here and worry about it. Okay, no, they've gone up in price. Damn, everything's kind of tumultuous with the herb market at the minute. What the hell? All right, fuck this. I'm just going to plant the third flax I have in my bank. I might stop the farm runs. The price of seeds and herbs is really weird at the minute, and figuring it out on the fly is damn near impossible. I basically have to use the calculator, so it's kind of awkward because I didn't check in advance today. And even if you do check in advance, sometimes the price is uh, a bit different. Like, the price that it came in at then when it was like 4.5k is what I was expecting to see, but then the actual price was like 6k, so I'm not sure my calculator works either. Which is just the one on the wiki, by the way, if anyone's curious. The farm herb run calculator. Might be time to knock the farm runs on the head anyway. They may have outlived their purpose. We are getting towards the end of the series, like I say, after all. Maybe tomorrow I'll just harvest these toad flax and then not plant anything. As weird as that will feel after so long. Daily planting. In a big haul, though, of Aventos. Definitely not complaining. Oh, I got it in time. See? Dun, dun. It's this farming patch every time. The music at this farming patch goes in time with your picks. Sometimes. And when it does, it's fucking beautiful. I don't know how much you guys will have been able to hear it. But just go to that farming patch and pick herbs. You'll see exactly what I mean if you get your timing right. You do have to be doing the double pick though. Wait, you spam click it till it picks twice as fast. Alright, farm run's done. I did not bring any teleport to get out of here. What the fuck? Edgeville. It's because I'd already gone to Varrock before. Right, let's go back to the Grand Exchange one more time. I need a few more runes probably, so I'm just going to top up, make sure I don't have any issues. Yeah, I don't want to top up too much because we are almost done. 
thing that I should probably do is for the day. Got 4,000 casts and a few more chaos. About 4,000 casts. Still got 9 mil uh, Do we want to buy anything right now? I don't think so. Is it worth getting an occult? Not really, because we need the prayer. Let's get to our zombies. My eternal boots like super cheap. Oh, you need 75 magic and defense. So that is irrelevant. Might be something for the next form of road, so they're five mil. As in our normal threshold. Could be something we consider. See when we get our fourth zombie axe or next level of something. We should be due defense and magic both today and a decent bit of the way towards our final level in each of them. Getting kind of smoked up today. Not giving me much breathing chance. Taking a lot of hits. Like an unusual amount of hits. I also hadn't put my uh, Mystic Mile on, but I've only been here for like a minute, so that's not too bad. I feel like I'm taking way more hits than usual, though. Yeah, it's calmed down now. What like Mystic Might is protecting me. Oh, I'm so mighty. Okay, maybe not. Ow. Look at that, man. They're fucking chucking at me. When did these guys get so violent? Best be giving me another axe today after this assault. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Okay, so, little tip for anyone who comes here. I highly recommend putting an entity hider on with hide den dead NPCs and then they just disappear when you kill them rather than having they have a really long death animation and it can make your bursts miss sometimes like if you're manually targeting especially and you're trying to heal up you can miss because it's rendering the one that's dying on top for some reason and thus you keep clicking that one rather than the ones that you're actually trying to kill like i don't know why it lets you target the dead ones still but it just doesn't work so i would highly recommend this because it seems much cleaner now like they just pop and disappear when i kill them maybe less elegant but actually better for the gameplay i haven't noticed a single miscast since I've turned this on and I was getting a lot of them in the previous couple of days. It's probably not something that's very easily noticeable, especially when I'm speeding things up for music type compilations, but more time lapses, I guess, not compilations. But yeah, I don't think I've noticed a miscast since I turned that on, which is actually going to improve my DPS and my survivability quite a bit, I think. Not that I died at all, but I got close a couple times. Sometimes it just piles up out of nowhere. I think we may have lost aggro of that. I think it's probably worth just doing a quick little reset. Still got a bit of our prayer pot left. Not quite ready to leave yet. We don't have a full invent. Out of prayer potions and invent space, so I'm just let my prayer run down now, and then we'll call this trip. And that's my cue. Very, very close to a defense level and not too much further behind a magic level here. Just around about five minutes and we will have got both of those ticked off for the day. The bank trips are actually that long. They're pretty quick, really, because, like, this run feels like the worst part, but it's not that far. Actually remembering my mage prayer this time. And there is 69 defense. The old funny number. And there is the magic level 74. We are just one level away from our final goal. Four raids. That is 113,000 experience points we need to get still. Which is roughly one hour of this. It's pretty much a damn near, look at that, 59 minutes on the tracker expected. Ooh, we've got 25 minutes left, so we can chunk some down off that number for sure. Does mean that at the very most, tomorrow will be our final day. But like I say, we might, depending on how close we get, 
I would, I'm gonna do the math as soon as we finish up here today. Figure out how many Alks we will be away from that level. Because we've got quests to do and a couple other things that we kind of need to do, so we might be able to just, just get it alongside. Save and spend it another day. I feel like I've already said all that, but there you go. Said it again. Deal with it. And there uh, you have it, folks. I promise I'm not hacking. I promise I'm not hacking. 1886. We are at four zombie axes. I don't even know what to say anymore. I've run out of words for receiving this item drop. Thank you for the free money, Mr. Zombies. Or Mrs. Zombies. Or the Zombies. However you want to be identified. Thank you for giving me your lovely broken axes. We run out of aggro. That's all. We have... And we've run out of run energy. Do I just bank? Only got one pot left. I'm just gonna bank. Do you know what's actually wild? Isn't the fact that we've got four zombie axes in five days. But it's the fact that we haven't had two in one day. Like, it's been one a day consistently. Do you know what I mean? Like, except that one day that we missed. You'd have thought with the amount we've had, it would have been like two in one day and then a, a couple days off and then we hit another one or something. But yeah, it's been really weird. It's just like, I turn up, I get 100,000 XP in a zombie axe. That's my day. You can't fucking complain at all. Mind boggling. What a beast. Iron Daltron. Great day, my guy. Enjoy the quest. Man, whenever I'm being, like, grinding the same piece of content on the daily, making a video every day, like I've been with the zombies here, and then I come in and I, I see, like, a low-level person doing the quest, part of me is just like, they here because they saw me doing it and they thought, that looks easy and good and profitable and fun. So, if so, I'm doing my job. And uh, then I remember I only have 300 subscribers, so probably not. But thank you, by the way. Well, I say 300, it was 2.99 when I started recording this. Damn near 300, we're almost there, folks. Thank you all for being here with me on this journey. When I first started out in January, I had no idea how this was gonna go. And I was kind of worried about it because I didn't really have much of a following at all. And I thought if it just bombs, then, well, that's my YouTube in the bin. And it hasn't. You've all been such a wonderful community to rally behind it. And I think this was a real gap in the market. You know, nobody, none of the large creators are, are catering to the audience that's most hungry for their attention. And that is the audience that doesn't have as much time to play as they do. So I'm glad to have filled that spot with this series. And I hope it's given you all what you were looking for and helped some of you along the way. Even though that guy probably has absolutely no idea who I am. And just is following a quest guide right now. But random tangent over. Let's see if we can get ourselves another axe today. Come on, give me the double whammy. You know you want to. Just spent like six or seven minutes with my mage prayer off. Really annoying. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Don't die. Fuck me. Hold on. Shit, I could have lost that then. Whew. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. I went from elation to panic in such a quick time then. <laughs> what the hell is going on, y'all? We are five for five. Five days here, five zombie axes. We finally got our double drop. Yeah. Yeah. We're basically at half the drop rate, right? Because it's 1 in 800, and we've got just about 2,000 zombies. So, theoretically, 5 axes would be 4,000 zombies. So we've gone pretty much bang on half the drop rate for every axe. Which is absolutely absurd. I just wish I could get some fucking Crystal Armor Seeds on my main account. 
Like, if they came as frequently as this does, they're a 1 in 40 drop, and I have less of them than I do of fucking zombie axes, and I've been grinding gauntlet for months. I mean, granted, I don't have 2,000 gauntlet KC, but 300 odd. It's disgusting. Alright, I fall off the title of this video. What's better than one zombie axe? <laughs> That's four mil we've just made today. I'm picking up two broken axes. The XP rate has been real solid as well, it hasn't dropped at all, so we've been super consistent here today. Very, very solid for potentially our final day here. Fuck, did I imagine if I died and it despawned by the time I got back? I could have probably made it back in time because I would have just had to get my dig side pendant from death's office and come straight here, but that would have been dreadful. It looks like we might run out of aggro again there. I think it might be time for a little bank trip. It's usually two prayer pots, but I like bringing the third anyway, just in case we get a longer trip. However, today, I'm not sure if we need to, with this being such a short trip. I kind of want to go to the G, actually, and get those axes up. I did run out of aggro, but I managed to just leash a decent mob anyway while I was talking, so I may as well just fucking tap them down, you know what I mean? I can't decide whether I'm coming back again today or not. I can only get, like, five minutes in. How many alks away are we at the minute? currently. 1,200, that is quite a lot, isn't it? Just gonna grab all the cell stuff and go slap it up, and then I'll probably go back for another couple of minutes after. And Renard's gone down even further. This doesn't look great. Yeah, herbs are kind of all over the place at the minute. I don't know what's going on with the market. Look at that. Straight sold, the zombie axes. 1950 each. One, 1,950. Green cash stack, baby. First time on the account. Let's fucking go. I think I've only had a green cash stack briefly on my main account as well. I don't often have a lot of money on my own, man. Not that I don't have access to money, like I've got fuck tons of alks in the bank. I just don't need to alk them, because I don't need money that often. Probably didn't need to bring a prayer pot at all, or either did I? I don't think that'll have to do. Get the portal clicking, we're all good. Just in time for me to have an excuse to ignore you, Mr. Dwarf. Fuck off, get out of here. We don't need your kebabs. Look how fucking rich we are. 13 mil, 20 if you add on miscellanea, which I did get a notification about today. We're on 96% and 7.2 mil. We got 20 mil, guys. 20 fucking mil on one hour limit locked. 20 mil on one hour limit locked. Let that sink in. We have come so fucking far, y'all. So fucking far. Look at look at that stat page. On one hour limit locked, we are almost ready for raids, y'all. Look how good we look as well in our tomb raid to get up. I'm not sure about these little earmuffs on the hat, though. What is that about? I think they need to sort that out. Is that the hat or is that my hair? That, that's the hat, right? They've got little earmuffs. Sorry about these angles. Anyway, we got uh, another 180,000 XP today. If we are looking at Alks to the level now that we spent a few more minutes there, 1,114. I can't figure it out. So the things on my to-do list, just so everyone knows, we've got Beneath Curse Sands quest. That's probably going to take us a full day. I don't know exactly, but I'm going to just estimate a full day for it, and that's fine. We've got Major Arena 1 Cape. That shouldn't take long at all. 15 20 minutes tops. We've got a day at Scurry, maybe two days actually, just to finish off these 70 levels. And we've got to do some barbarian fishing and smithing training so that we can use the Zamoraki and the Hasta, which does in fact require me to get a fishing level. If we get a fishing level up to 50, we can boost to 55, which is what we need to do the barbarian training, and at that point we are allowed to wield the Zamoraki and Hasta that I would like to take into raids with me. I need 70 attack, but we're going to be there by that point. So yeah, those are the little odd jobs I have, and I can't figure out if that's going to be enough to get a thousand Valks in, because a thousand is quite a lot. So I don't know whether to stop or, or go back for another day. I don't know. If you have an opinion, let me know in the comments. If you're really sick of me getting axes by now and you just want me to leave, then let me know. Maybe I'll pay attention. Maybe I'll just go get another five axes. Who knows? And other than that, yeah. We're pretty much solidly on track for having our entry mode done by day 60, which is what I predicted before the break, I think. 
think it was before the break. Pumped y'all. Let me know in the comments how hype you are for my 20 mil on the one hour limit locked. And thanks again to everyone who's been subscribing. You mean the world to me. Almost at 300. Maybe at 300 by the time this video releases. And y'all are the best. Keep leaving likes and comments and hitting the sub button if you haven't already. I mean, you can't keep doing that, but do it if you haven't. And look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on... No, hang on. I will see you on the next one. Don't worry. That is going to happen. I'm going to briefly log back in. I just remembered I wanted to check the champion scroll. Okay, it wasn't this account. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.